Yo, what's going on YouTube world? Today, man, we're gonna be checking out the Phase 5. Uh, super excited about this one. Uh, now, uh, honestly, I went and grabbed another Phase 2. Um, so we're gonna compare that ball and then alongside it, the Hammer Scorpion Sting. Uh, I think this ball makes the most sense from the current line as far as Brunswick goes. Um, Symmetric Pearl, uh, if you look at the numbers, they're, they're, they're close. Uh, I think the, the Phase 5 has just a little bit more uh, differential, but I'm curious, let's see. We know the R2S Hybrid, let's see what this Simtex Pearl, or R2S Pearl <laughs> versus Simtex Pearl. See how those balls match up against each other. Uh, man, you want to just have some fun, I'm really. And we got the Zen here as well. That's, that's one of the goaded uh, Storm, you know, uh, SPI branded uh, Pearl. So I want to see how that ball stacks up. So that's really about it, man. Uh, if you're, if you love the jerseys, man, go ahead and get over to Cool Wick. This is one of the Cool Wick Elite jerseys. Uh, man, I think they look good, they feel good. Um, and then also, if you want to support the channel, use the links below. It's a huge way to, again, show your support of what, what we're doing. Um, again, we got some more stuff coming as far as even matches. And in a minute in November, I'm going to have my guys down here from Dallas. We're going to be doing even some more matches using some of the new equipment. So you're going to look out for it all. Uh, man, and I appreciate everything that's going on. And also, if you're in South Florida and uh, Fort Lauderdale, man, get over to Bowler's Edge Pro Shop. Man, they always take care of me. Always look out. So this is the place to be. Tony and Roger, A1 since day one. But all right, man, let's get to it. <sighs> Where the fuck? All right. We're going to start off with the phase five. This lane. Oh, God. Hey, again, that's not, not how you're supposed to start, start the video, just throwing it way out the window. So I'm going to cheat a little further, further right, start out, migrate left. Oh, that was really smooth. Really smooth. So, huh, it's interesting. Let's see what happens. That's a little more controllable than I initially thought. I thought it was going to be, you know, just really erratic, but this is relatively smooth. And this has that newer uh, reactor gloss finish to it. I haven't changed it or adjusted or anything. We're going to throw it just as is. So we're gonna keep just cheating a little further left. Managing my speed, not trying to throw it completely through the spot. I like it so far. really straightened out like if you see when it gets to the pocket it you know it didn't keep keep going it kind of just straightened out a little bit so I'm curious to see if that was me or was that the ball so I wouldn't say it loves the angle, but it still made it work. It carried. Oh, that angle. So I think it's happy places with me about on 25. Ah, that went nine. being sting. Let's see how this one rolls. Start about the same spot. A little square. Ooh, almost fell. So, again, I'm a big fan of this ball. Uh, and it's got a couple games on it in comparison to this one that's fresh out of box. So, we're going to keep throwing it before I give opinions on how they actually compare. 
But as soon as he started going left, then we will see what's really going on. He did like that first shot, so. Oh, they're all straightening out. I think it has to do something more with the lane than it's the balls. I put that one into the ground. They carry, but I do that really bad, really bad. All right, so I'm gonna throw a couple more shots here uh, with the scorpion. I got on that one pretty good. That was 10. So I like that one. One more here, then we'll switch over to the Zen. So there's definitely a spot down lane that it just wiggles. Um, I, I'm not gonna say either ball has the issue there. I think it's just the lane itself. So if I don't go around it, if I throw it right to it, it's just gonna wiggle. It's, it's part of bowling. So the Zen, the Zen is definitely a step above as far as its overall ball strength. Um, I don't know if that's cover wise or the core. Like, I don't know which one is just stronger. You know, they all had different names and stuff. So, but there's definitely, you know, if I was to go a Brunswick ball that was stronger than uh, the Sting would be the attitude. And I think that's where, again, you got the attitude and the Zen that are pairs. And then you have this ball down, which is, again, the hammer, uh, the Scorpion Sting. And a phase five. Start moving a little left. Yep, cheese. That ball likes the oil. Okay, so we're gonna get about three, four more shots with this in, and then we're gonna jump down back to the phase five. Then we're gonna switch angles. That same spot that it wiggled, like the phase five and the scorpion stain, they like both kind of wiggle from there. This one rolled off of it just fine, bigger ball. And that hit horrible. Back to the happy place. Ready for that. Let's see. I missed that a little inside. Got that one out there. Right angle. reality I will probably scuff this ball a little bit to make it just a little more consistent um, again I've been all over the lane trying different angles so I'm not gonna blame that on the ball uh, but I think again just for my purposes and actual, and actual usage like in league or tournaments I will lightly touch it with 2000 pad just to again get it to a, a more blendy you know ball reaction um, but again I like the ball so far uh, so yeah we're gonna throw the sting one more time, they're gonna change angles. And about 25 still, see what happens. Ah. Uh, that one sat, but I kind of rolled it a little bit more. So, kind of on accident, but again, let's see how this continues to develop. But they definitely have a similar amount of hook. The hammer scorpion staying in a phase five, so. Just, again, from, from what I've seen so far out of it, and I still haven't even scuffed that ball, uh, it definitely gives me a very similar. Mm -hmm. All right, let's change.
change angles. So, concluding thoughts. I am not the biggest fan of reactor gloss, just being very, very clear. Uh, it got a bowl in centers, even a center that I had just a higher friction. It still just was a meh. Like I still hit it with, with pilot, hit it with uh, some surface. And I, had, I got a way better ball reaction. So, again, just for me, you know, in my game, like I just I wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, the Scorpion, on the other hand, with the compound, it, it worked fine out of box for me, and I was surprised. So, again, it's probably just a difference in the chemistries of both these different, you know, materials that were put on top of the ball. So, but, again, for, for me, uh, the Scorpion is definitely a, a, a tidge earlier uh, than the Phase 5 where this, you know, Storm is known for, for being just really long and snappy. Uh, but the Phase 5 wasn't as snappy, you know, as I thought it was going to be. I thought it might be you know, a longer, you know, just a much sharper ball, which it just turned out not to be. So I feel like, again, they, they're closer than they are far, further apart, the Scorpion and the Phase 5. So, man, uh, I can see having both of these balls in a bag, drilling them a little differently, and going from there. I think they definitely, again, they have a lot of similarities, like I mentioned, and, man, I think they both look good. <laughs> like, honestly, uh, I think both, both of these color – these color combos, man, they really, really work. I think the shelf appeal is is there. And kind of how they fit in my bag, you know, it's still on the bottom end of the spectrum, like, you know, benchmark ball and then, then these two balls. So whether that's a, a phase two or whether it's a verge solid, then you go right to these balls. Uh, they each roll great. And then the Zen, you can also see that, again, this ball is just, it's a league, it's a league ahead of them. Like it's stronger uh, for sure. And again, these are all three complements. Uh, they all can work. If you had a higher friction center, these are your go-to balls. All right, until next time.